Nine on your side starts now. This is a big deal. This sort of thing doesn't happen a lot. But when it does, it sure is disruptive. We start tonight at 6 with good news for people who live in Latonia and Fort Wright. After an hours long shelter in place order is lifted here recently, a broken valve causes a mix of chemicals to blast into the air and the surrounding neighborhood. Neighbors were told to shut their doors, their windows and stay inside. All of this stemming from an issue at Interplastic Corporation in Fort Wright. That's where we find nine on your sides. Josh Bazan with how these folks are doing tonight. Hi, Evan. Yeah, the scene has been cleared after the company worked with firefighters and emergency crews to try and contain that leak earlier this afternoon. I spoke to Fort Wright's fire chief who tells me there are no serious health risks for people who may have breathed in those chemicals today. We seen a puff of smoke. It's kind of like a boom. You know, it wasn't a bomb, but you could hear it. I seen the smoke. It smelled like a plasticky kind of smell. Devin Blanton has lived just a few hundred feet from Interplastic Corporation for the past eight years. He says there is always a concern being so close to a chemical plant, but something like this is unusual. Obviously, with that being a chemical plant, we ran inside and, you know, just been staying. We turned the furnace off. We did what we could. The Covington Fire Department responded to a call just before 1 p.m. of white smoke near the plant and says neighbors reported a chemical smell. An equipment failure at the plant led to the release of a chemical irritant. Fort Wright's police chief tells me it was a mixture of chemicals, but says neighbors who may have smelled it or breathed in the chemicals are not facing any serious health risks. I do test my water and I do filter my water with reverse osmosis to try to help with that, but now I'm worried about breathing the air. As we mentioned, there is no longer a shelter in place. Fort Wright's fire chief says the computer that malfunctioned in the plant is now operating correctly. Reporting live outside Interplastic Corporation in Fort Wright, Josh Bazan, 9 on your side. And this is not the first time neighbors have been evacuated because of chemical leaks from that Latonia plant. In fact, several neighbors filed a lawsuit in 1997 over fumes from what was then called Silmar Interplastic. They argued styrene gas in the air was a threat to their health. The company disagreed. They reached a multi-million dollar settlement with that company years later in 2004.